Holy Time at Home. Presented by Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. Hi, my name is Miss Kathy and I am the children's librarian at the Miami Township Library. And I want to share this wonderful book with you today. Um, this book is all about cells, but I want to make sure, now I think you'll want to stay through the whole book because it's really good, but I want to make sure you stay till the end of the video because at the end of this video, I'm going to be telling you the greatest knock-knock joke I have heard since interrupting cow. Now, so, you know, you want to stick around for that. <sighs> Am I hearing that some of you have not heard the knock-knock joke, interrupting cow? Oh, we need to fix that right now. Good thing I've got this drawing of a cow to get us in the mood. Are you ready? Here we go. Knock-knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting Moo! cow. Now, normally it's not very polite to interrupt someone, but if you're telling that joke, you just go right ahead. Isn't that a good one? All right. So, so back to our book here. This is called Cells and Owner's Handbook by Carolyn Fisher. And it's going to tell us all about cells. Did you know that cows have cells? Did you know that you have cells? Did you know that every living thing has cells living in them and on them? It's true. Cells are the building blocks of life. And that's why we need an owner's handbook to learn more about these things. All right. Hi, I'm Ellie. No, not the dog. I follow the arrow. I'm a cell, a skin cell actually. A skin cell who lives on er, the derriere of a Boston Terrier. Derriere is a fancy French word for butt. Oh, you don't know what a cell is? Well, the dictionary says that a cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism, which is typically microscopic and it consists of cytoplasm and a nucleus enclosed in a membrane. Aren't you glad you asked? There's Allie and there's our Boston Terrier. Wait a minute, you can't see me? Hmm, is that because we cells are so small that we're invisible to the naked eye? Let's zoom in. Here I am. Ellie the cell, 3,000 times magnification. Yeah, yeah, so I live on a dog's butt, or as I like to call it, the gluteus maximus. Let's carry on before we get, um, left behind. Congratulations! You are the owner of 37 trillion high-performance cells. Give or take a few trillion. Unicellular organisms are made of just one cell. Multicellular organisms are made of many cells. Non-living things are not made of cells. Dirt is not made of cells. Water, not made of cells. Rocks, not made of cells. A cell is an itty bitty building block that stacks together with other cells to make dogs and humans and everything else that's alive. And I mean everything. Most cells are so small that you can't see them unless you use a microscope. If, you, if your little left toe was this big, a skin cell, here's your left toe, this big, 
a skin cell might be this big. An eye, Ellie the cell, would be this big. I'm tall for my age. If you looked at some of your cells through a microscope, you might see this. This is a skin cell magnified 1,500 times. Or this, this is a nerve cell magnified 500 times. Or these. Different kinds of cells have different shapes and sizes to help them do different jobs, like making bones, and making blood, and making muscles, and making babies. Zoom in closer, uh, and one of your cells might look like this. Inside the cell, you'll find smaller parts called organelles. Each organelle is a mini factory that does a special job. Cells make new cells to grow bodies and to repair bodies. A time-lapse image of a cell copying itself to make two cells is shown here. This is called mitosis. That's what our joke is going to be about later, guys. Like it? It's a selfie. I mean a selfie from the last time I split. <laughs> Some cells can divide two or three times per day. Others split two or three times per year. Dead and worn out cells are recycled and reused to make new cells. One cell will split into two. Two cells will split into four. Four cells will split into eight. Eight cells will split into 16. 16 cells will split into 32. 32 cells will split into 64. 64 cells will split into 128. 128 cells will split into 256. 256 cells will split into 512. And 512 cells will split into 1,024. Oh, I hope you're still with me. And so on. Until all the parts of a body have the number of cells they need. The brain, the nerves, the nails, the bones, the skin, the lungs, the heart, the eyes, the ears, the muscles, the stomach, the intestine, the kidneys, the blood. So many cells needed for all of that cool stuff. Your cells, mitochondria, need food and water and oxygen to make energy for your body. Oh, there's Ellie again. So eat, drink, and don't forget to breathe. I think we should take a big breath right now. Ready? Can you breathe in? Breathe out. Very good. Ready? Ready for the rest of the book. Oh, look, it's Ellie. She's a, a skeleton. Lifetime guarantee. With proper recycling and replacement, you should have enough cells to last your whole life. Which reminds me, a skin cell divides about every 14 days, so... I gotta split. The end. Bye! Now the book says it's the end. But a good thing to know about books is, a lot of times when the story ends, there's more to see in what we call the back matter of the book. And if I had not looked at the back matter of this book, I would have missed out on this amazing nong nong joke. Before we tell the joke though, I wanna tell about one additional resource, which is also listed on the back matter of this book under additional resources. That is, a book that this book was based on, a very much larger book, called I Contain Multitudes, The Microbes Within Us and a Grander View of Life by Ed Young. And I recommend this for reading for any adults out there. And it's, it would also be very good to do shared reading with your children to find passages that are appropriate for them and that you think that they'd be interested in. This is an amazing book. I've read the whole thing, it's really good. All right, so without further ado, are you ready for our 9-9 joke? I'm ready. Okay, are you ready? 
Okay, he's ready. All right, here we go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mitosis. Mitosis who? Mitosis freezing out here. I forgot my shoes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Everyone have a wonderful day. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library. Org to find out more.